Hey everybody, this is uh, Greg with Make Cody Yours. Now, I've had a lot of questions about my own build, the radioactive build, about Cody in general, how to use it, navigate through it, what the different add-ons are, and also, uh, you know, just about the fire stick, how to use that, navigate through that. So I thought I'd make this little video tutorial on how to use um, both. Now, when you first start up your Amazon Fire TV stick, you're going to come to this screen, which is the Fire Starter application screen. Now, the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click into the Fire TV home. You're going to want to scroll all the way down to the bottom where it says settings. You're going to want to scroll over to where it says system, and then you're going to want to go to network. And what you're going to want to do is find your particular wireless network and get that going so that you can access all the content. Now the second thing I would do is go into my account and then I would click into your Amazon account. I would deregister it and just register it for your own Amazon account. Now, um, the next thing is Cody and how to use Cody and get into the application and how it works. Uh, I'm going to bring you back to the main screen when you first start up your Fire TV stick. Now, as I said, when you first plug in your Fire TV stick, you're going to be brought to this menu here, which is the Fire Starter homepage. Um, so what, there's three ways to get into the Kodi application. The first one is to scroll over to the Kodi application, click the, uh, the button, and it will get into the application. The second way to get into the application is by going into the Fire TV Home settings, scrolling all the way down to where it says Settings, scrolling over to Applications, scrolling down to Manage Installed Applications, then scrolling on down again until you get to Kodi, and then hitting the Launch Application button. And also the third and final way to get into Kodi is by hitting the Home button twice on your Fire TV Stick remote, and that will also enter Kodi like this. Now this is opening the Kodi menu. Now this is my own personal build. It's the radioactive build. Um, I've made it as easy as I possibly can for people to navigate through and to uh, use the interface. Um, and so here is the build. Now when you first start it up, it's got uh, menus on the bottom. Now you can see it's highlighted on movies. There's also TV shows, live TV, sports, we have some adult content, we have settings, and then we also have the power button. Um, and there's also rotating wallpapers when you scroll each time the wallpaper changes. Now, on each one of these menus, there's what we call sub-menus. Now, if you see below where it says movie, there's a little arrow. And if you click the down button on your remote, it will bring up a sub-menu, which has some of the add-ons that have movies on them, like Phoenix HD Movies, Stream All the Sources, Nine Movies, and so on and so forth. And you can click into those, and that will bring you directly into that particular application. See, it brings you right into the Nine Movies application. Now also, on each one of these categories uh, or menus, if you click directly on the actual icon, like this one is TV Shows, and you click on it, this will bring you up to a folder that has every single add-on that is uh, streaming uh, TV show content for the Fire TV Stick Kodi application. Um, and you can do that with live TV as well, with sports and adults. Uh, now, if you go into the settings there's um, and hit the down button, there's different things. You have the file manager here, which you can add... Um, you know, sources so that you can get different add-ons on there. Um, there's also in the settings, there is add-ons, which just basically brings you to where you install add-ons, install from zip, file, you get your add-ons, enable add-ons, so on and so forth. And then also, if you click on the video add-ons, this brings you to every single add-on that is on my build here. Um, and it's nice and easy to find. Uh, also, if you go down to program add-ons, the same thing, except for these are all the program add-ons that happen to be on the build. Um, and also in settings, you have raw maintenance. Now, what raw maintenance is, is if your uh, stick is running slow and sluggish and you're having some buffering issues, what you can do is you can click into the raw maintenance application like I did. And if you go into maintenance, 
Okay, now there's three things here. There's clear cache, delete thumbnails, and purge packages. Now, if you clear the cache, okay, there's six files found. So yes, we want to clear the cache. Okay, and then also I like to purge the packages. Now, there's no packages to purge because I just did this about uh, an hour ago. So um, that's all taken care of. But basically what that does is it clears out some of the excess stuff that's on the, the stick and on the Kodi and helps it run a little smoother. Now also in the settings, um, there's favorites. Um, I don't have anything in here. There are no favorites added. If you want to add your own favorites, then that's where they would be. Also there's the super favorites, which um, has the different uh, um, folders for the different add-ons. Like all the adult add-ons are in here, all the live TV add-ons in here, movies, sports, TV shows. And then also you have um, your appearance and that is it. Now, if you don't want the adult content on the main screen, like if you have children and you just don't want it on there, I'll show you right now how to take that off. What you're gonna wanna do is go into the settings application, scroll down, you're gonna go to appearance, then you're gonna go over into the skin settings, you're gonna go into customize the home menu, you're gonna scroll over to where it says adult, you're gonna go over to the right, and then you're gonna scroll all the way down till you see delete, and you hit delete, and that will delete it off of the main screen. Um, now also this build um, comes with two different skins. It has the Arctic Zephyr skin, which is the skin you see right here. And it also has the um, Aeon Nox skin. Now how you change between the skins is you go down to settings, scroll all the way down to where it says appearance, over to skin where it says Arctic Zephyr. You click on that and then you scroll to Aeon Nox. And then would you like to keep this change? And you hit yes. And now what you do is you exit out of this and now you're on the Aeon Nox skin. Now everything is basically the same on this. You've got system, movies, TV shows, live TV, sports, and power. Those are your main menu. Underneath them are some sub-menus. You know, for uh, let's say sports. These are all the, uh, some of the sports add-ons that are on my build. Um, now, if you click directly onto any of them, like let's say uh, TV shows, you click directly on the icon itself. Um, it's gonna bring you into uh, the folder that has all of the TV show add-ons on there. Now on this particular skin, if you would like to get rid of the adult content on there, which it's not on there right now, but I can show you how to enable it and disable it. Um, here's what you do. You go into the system, okay? Go into appearance, scroll over to settings, scroll over to set up the Aeon Nox main menu. Then you scroll all the way down to where it says adult and you can see right here, this is, it's not enabled. So it's not on the main screen. So if you click the enable button, it will enable it. You deselect it, it will disable it. So I'm gonna enable it and just show you that it pops back up on there. And there it is. Um, now, if for some reason uh, your system starts acting slow um, and it freezes or something like that, how you fix that problem is on your Fire TV remote, you click the home button and what that will do, it'll bring you to the Amazon Fire TV Stick homepage. And what you can do is scroll all the way down to the settings, scroll over to Applications, scroll down to Manage Installed Applications, over to Kodi, and then you go to Force Stop. And what that will do is it'll force stop the application, and it will basically just kind of reset the application for you. And then what you can do is relaunch the application, And it will get you into the application again. So here we are, we're back on the Aeon Nox skin. Um, if you want to change it back to the Arctic Zephyr skin, just go over to System, go over to Appearance, go over to the Skin Settings, and then go down to Arctic Zephyr. And then would you like to keep this change? You click on Yes. And then you can exit out of it and you're back on the Arctic Zephyr skin. It's that easy to change the appearance of the build. Um, so I think that's about it. Um, if you want to power off the system, you just click on the power or you can hit the down button and, and hit quit. Um, that's it for this video, guys. Um, if you have any questions, any comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section. 
Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And um, I'm going to be making some more videos about how to uh, do all the revolving backgrounds and uh, um, and just about what the particular each particular um, add-on does and how to kind of navigate through them to help you guys out. So um, if you have any suggestions on any other videos you want to see, just let me know in the comments and we'll uh, we'll get to those. Um, so I guess that's it, and we will see you next time.